Abby is trying the new in line flavors. This is peanut butter chocolate chip. What do you think? Very peanut buttery. <laughs> So just try each one of them. I would probably give number one to peanut butter, second place I would do the caramel oatmeal and then cold brew the third place. They're all really good but we both agree that the difference between these and Halo Top is the consistency. Yeah. go to dinner for my dad's birthday party and we found this little bridge. What do you think is over this bridge, babe? A little river. <laughs> a what? A river. Oh, I thought you said something terrible. That rhymes with river. This is really nice. We fancy now. It's really good. I came here for my birthday. I feel like this is the type of place that you get like Pinard Noir or... Sauvignon Blanc. I've never had that. <laughs> or what's the baby eggs that people eat that cost a lot of money? Caviar? No. Cavalier? No, oh, caviar. <laughs> caviar, that one. Yeah, I feel like this is the type of place. We're, we're sitting on like beautiful leather white couches. And then I'm just going to I'll kill you. Alright. <laughs> right. uh, can I get the shrimp and scalp ready? Yes. You're really going to order that? Chicken Bagata and Gabby got this bomb looking pizza. What is it? Mushroom. Mushroom pizza. Damn, all this food looks so good. Damn. Hey, do you? Woo! Love you, Dad. Take it a mucho, Papa. <laughs> Save me a bike. How big is a bike? Isn't that dad's cake? Yeah, but it is. <laughs> this is a lot of chocolate. This thing. Do you need all that exercise? Never be all that You're really gonna eat that? Yeah, just bite it. Are you really gonna eat that? Uh, yeah. What's up, everyone? So, tonight was my father's birthday, and it's really special whenever we celebrate because um, two years ago, we nearly lost our father. He had a really bad heart attack. Uh, fortunately, he was able to be saved. Um, it was really, really scary when it happened. It was super sudden. Um, so whenever we do my father's birthday, we like to do something special for him. So happy birthday, Dad. I don't know if he watches my videos, but I'm just going to say it anyways. Dinner was fantastic. Uh, it's about 10 o'clock right now. I'm going to go and upload footage. I'm going to try and wake up early tomorrow to take some really cool shots. This did not happen. Um, but I'm going to try and start vlogging more frequently and try and get my creativeness back going. When I first started YouTube, I made videos every other day for about a year and a half straight. And a lot of people ask, how did I get so good at editing? How did I get so good at filming, vlogging, all of that? And my biggest advice was just, you know, or what I did was... I literally challenge myself to make videos every other day and when you have to do that you have to be creative and make your videos different from every single one before that so now that I have a position where I really need to be creative I need to vlog and edit more and do things more creatively now that I have so many tools that really just expand the ability of what I can do I plan on filming more which means more content for you guys but also me getting better at what I do because I need to do this for my job so I think it's really cool that I get to do what I love on the side but that will directly impact how do well I do my job so I'll see you guys in the morning I'm sleepy peace <laughs> So it is Monday morning. Every single time that I have the intention of filming this really cool idea that I have, slightly true, it's always foggy 
it's misting and raining, or it's just completely dark outside. Over in Massachusetts, it takes about until it's 6.45, 7 in the morning for the sun to come out. The, the sun isn't even out yet. It's still really, really gray. And what I want to do requires sun, it requires good weather, and we haven't had either basically in the last week, which is very frustrating. I wake up at like 6 and I'm like, yes, we're going to film this, but I can't. Oh well. Uh, breakfast, completely delicious. Two eggs, oatmeal, protein, ghost, with blueberry sauce from Wegmans or whatever, Walden Farms, whatever you guys know. Always good to eat. But I'm going to head to work now. I'll see you guys later today at the gym. And tonight, we're squatting. So, squats... I think I'm gonna try and work up 315 belt list. We'll see how I feel, but it's all progress. Woo! Essentials for work. up to like the heavy number that I'm trying to work at. I'm so used to doing 135, 225, 275, 315, 365. But ever since I've been injured, I'm trying to take it slow and do warm up sets gradually to my bigger sets. Me, that's how I warm up my central nervous system. That's how I kind of like get myself mentally prepared for that heavy weight. So 275 went well for a triple. I'm feeling really good. 300 just for a single and then do 315. So we'll see how this goes and hopefully it turns out well. Squats went great today. Worked up to 315, moved so well. Hit depth. After that, I did some offsets of four by six at 225. Not gonna lie, I felt a little bit of a weird ache in my left groin area, um, which is not unusual. My left side tends to overcompensate for my right. So tomorrow, I have physical therapy. I'm gonna tell my physical therapist about this because I really just want to get better overall. Did some um, bench as well. Four sets of six, short pause about one to two seconds at 200 pounds. I'm trying to maintain my bench as I start to lose weight. So I'm doing everything that I can with that. I was in a rush to lose weight, but since my flight got canceled and my whole trip to Puerto Rico got canceled, I'm gonna slow down my weight loss. That way I don't lose too much weight and I lose too much muscle because if you cut your calories really low, everything starts to get all screwed up. But I'm gonna finish up the workout Today was overall a success, feeling really good in the gym, and I'm excited with physical therapy to continue to get better. I'm going atomically, Socrates, philosophies, and hypotheses. Can't define how I be dropping these mockeries. Lyrically perform armed robbery, flee with the lottery. Possibly they spotted me, battles guard, showgun, explosion when my pen hits. Tremendous, ultraviolet shine, blind forensics. I inspect you through the This is what I usually carry with me every day to work. I have my backpack, my gym bag, and my work bag. Finishing the night with some Greek yogurt. These are great. I think I mentioned them earlier in this video or in the last one, but these are 80 calories. Uh, if it decides to focus, you got 80 calories, eight grams of carbs and 12 grams of protein. So these are perfect for cutting. I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it, give it a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. But I'll see you guys in the next video. I need to start editing this one. See ya.